Welcome back again. This video is a continuation of the tutorial that I'm working on for a Colorwork scarf sampler. And in parts of the sampler, in the um, garter stitch border, we work some short rows. The reason for working a short rows in a garter stitch border is that garter stitch has a much tighter row gauge than stockinette stitch. If we were to avoid the short row sections, the garter stitch would tend to pull in like this against the stockinette stick, stitch section. So in order to avoid that and keep this flat and looking nice, we're going to work some short rows here. And they're indicated by the red boxes on both sides. So I'm going to show how to do these short rows. We'll work across and then we'll do these short rows. Okay, so let's start here. We're going to, and we'll show the intarsia techniques along the way. So we're going to work our first four stitches of the short row, first short row. We'll move this out of the way so you can see better. Then we're going to do a wrap and turn. So you just slip the next stitch point to point, bring the yarn forward, slip the stitch back. I'm going to take a little screenshot here. There we go. Then we turn the work. We've wrapped that stitch. And we're going to work back. We turn our work. Now we have the wrapped stitch right there. Let's magnify this. So it's wrapped around the white stitch. So now we're going to work over and we're going to conceal it. So we're going to knit the four stitches in the dark yarn. Then we're do do our standard color change with the white. Where's our white? Here it is. Take the dark over the light. Bring the light up. And now we're going to conceal that wrap. So we take the point of our right needle, go up under the wrap, through the stitch on the left needle as if to knit, slip them both back point to point, and knit through the back. And that throws that wrapped stitch to the back of this stitch and conceals it. We're going to knit over and do the same thing on the other side. We're going to make a color change here. Take the light over the dark. We double check which dark strand we picked up. And it goes to this stitch right here. You can see it pull. So we know we're in the correct using the correct strand. We're going to make another color change here. Dark going over the light. The light is right here. Dark goes over the light. Pick the light up from underneath. We'll work our light. Another color change. Light over the dark. Dark is right here. Light over the dark. Pick up the dark from underneath. See the light over the dark. Work the dark. Another color change dark over the light. It's always the same. The just used yarn over the top of the yarn that's going to be used next. Another color change and we're almost to the end of the row. Light over the dark.
last color change, dark over the light. And then we're going to work another short row in our garter stitch edge. First we're going to tidy up all these ends. I do this every row. I just tidy these up. You could do it when you come to them, but I like doing it across the row like that, and then I'm just ready. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a um, short row turn, which will add two rows or one garter ridge. I do this about every... I, I create a fifth ridge after every four ridges. That usually works pretty good for me in a relationship between the garter stitch and a stockinette stitch fabric. I bring the just used, oops, we're going to wrap this stitch. So we slip tip to tip, bring the yarn forward, turn. We've just wrapped that green stitch, work back. That's our second garter row, which created another ridge. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to conceal that wrap. This is the wrapped stitch right here. Can you see the wrap around the neck of that green stitch? So we're going to conceal it. So we're going to make our color change first. So we're taking the light over the dark. Bring up the dark. Now we want to conceal it. We're on the wrong side of the fabric. So what we do is we turn our work up so that we can see that wrap. Here's the front of the wrap. Here's the back of the wrap. Here's the whole wrap right here. We want to pick up the front leg that's on the right side of the work without splitting the stitch below it. Put it up onto the left needle and then purl these two together with the dark yarn because it's a dark stitch. And that causes the light yarn to fall to the back and it's not visible on the front. And then we would continue working across this strand, this row, and switching these strands out accordingly. So there you go. It go. We did the um, short rows. Let's look. What see what it looks like on this side. They're virtually invisible. Let's unmagnify it. So here we added a garter stitch ridge there, and we added a garter stitch ridge here. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, share them with your friends. You're welcome to join in on this tutorial if you want. Um, you can get it for free by going to my Ravelry group, Knitting with Suzanne. You can look in the group for the free information there. And I hope to see you next time. Happy knitting!